Warm greetings to all our viewers at Entirely Self Care. Today, we're diving into an invigorating topic, the ultimate reset before 2024, your blueprint to a fresh start. We'll explore why a year-end reset can be a game changer, enhancing our overall well-being. We'll touch on self-reflection, goal-setting, decluttering, self-care practices, financial review, and nurturing relationships. It's all about taking intentional steps towards positive change and gearing up for a fresh new start. So buckle up and stay tuned as we delve into the first step of our ultimate reset. So why is a year-end reset so important? Consider it as a pit stop in the race of life. It's a chance to reflect on the journey of the past year, to celebrate wins, learn from losses, and set new intentions. A reset is more than just a fresh start. It's an opportunity to refocus your energy, recharge your spirit, and make positive changes. It's like hitting the refresh button on your life. Now that we understand the importance, we move to our first practical tip. The first step towards our ultimate reset is reflection and goal setting. Looking back on the year that's passed is like holding a mirror to our experiences. It reveals our triumphs, our trials, and everything in between. It allows us to appreciate our growth and identify areas we'd like to improve. From this place of understanding, we can then set meaningful goals for the year ahead. And not just any goals, but SMART goals. Specific, so we know exactly what we're aiming for. Measurable, to track our progress. Achievable, because success breeds success. Relevant, to ensure it aligns with our broader life vision. And time-bound, to keep us on track. So grab a pen and paper, or open up a new digital note. Reflect on the past year, what worked, what didn't. And then, set your SMART goals. With our goals set, we move to the next step decluttering and organizing. A clutter-free environment is a key to mental clarity. It's like a breath of fresh air, creating space for new ideas, opportunities, and positive energy. The benefits of decluttering extend beyond the physical. It's therapeutic, freeing up mental space, reducing stress, and boosting productivity. Let's start with your physical spaces. Imagine your room, your desk, your kitchen. Consider the KonMari method where you keep only what sparks joy and thank the rest before letting it go. This method is not just about tidying up, but about resetting your life. Now think about your digital spaces, your emails, documents, photos, apps. Here too, decluttering can work wonders. Organize your files, delete unnecessary emails and clear out those apps you no longer use. This digital cleanse can greatly improve your mental well-being, making you feel lighter and more in control. Remember, decluttering is a form of self-care, it's about creating a serene environment that supports your goals and well-being. With a tidy environment, let's shift our focus to self-care and well-being. Self-care is not a luxury, it's a necessity. We often forget this vital truth in the hustle and bustle of life. Yet, as we prepare to reset before the year 2024, it's time to put self-care and well-being at the forefront of our intentions. Incorporating self-care practices such as exercise, meditation, mindfulness, and gratitude into our daily routines can profoundly impact our lives. Exercise keeps our bodies healthy and our minds sharp. Meditation and mindfulness practices help us stay centered, reduce stress, and improve focus. Expressing gratitude fosters a positive mindset, reminding us of the abundance in our lives. Moreover, taking care of ourselves is not just about feeling good in the moment, it's about setting the foundation for achieving our goals. When we're physically, mentally, and emotionally well, we're better equipped to tackle challenges, seize opportunities, and make positive changes in our lives. Let's not forget, financial stability is also a part of overall well-being. A financial review is a vital part of our reset. It's time to take a good look at our spending habits, savings, and financial goals. Budgeting isn't just about limiting yourself, it's about making your money work for you. Are we saving enough? Are we managing our debts wisely? Remember, being financially stable isn't just about having money, it's about being in control of it. And with this control comes a sense of well-being and security. Lastly, let's evaluate and nurture our relationships. Our relationships play a significant role in our lives. They can be a source of joy, support, and personal growth. It's important to evaluate and nurture these connections as they contribute to our overall well-being. Consider reaching out to friends, engaging in meaningful conversations, or even networking to meet new people. Remember, taking care of your social life is a form of self-care too. So, make time to invest in your relationships. Now let's summarize what we've learned today. We've covered a lot today. Let's quickly summarize. 
we dove into the significance of a year-end reset, highlighting its power to refocus and recharge us. We explored the art of reflecting and setting smart goals, along with the benefits of decluttering and organizing our spaces. We underscored self-care practices, the importance of a financial review, and the vitality of nurturing relationships. Each of these elements contributes to our well-being, forming our blueprint for an ultimate reset. Remember, the power of positive change lies in your hands. Embrace this ultimate reset before 2024. We've reached the end of our journey today. If you found value in this blueprint, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to share your own reset plans in the comments below. Here's to a fresh start and a transformative 2024. Till next time, take care and keep embracing self-care.